Hello everyone, welcome back to Prospect Channel TV. Thank you very much for this coming out here. May God bless you all. Charlie Boy reacts after AGF Abubakar Malami said that the Nigerian government will not release Mazin Namdekano according to the UN orders that the IPOB leader case is already in the court. Uh, in the High Court, in the Federal High Court in Nigeria, that the uh, Federal High Court will determine what happens to Namdi Kanu, not the UN other. Record that an international working group uh, declared the arrest of Namdi Kanu, the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, Ipo. As the as unlawful and infringement on his international human rights, the working group on arbitrary detention under the United Nations Commission on Human Rights disclosed this in a statement published on its website. Charlie Boy urged the Nigerian government to release Mazen Namdekanu. He said. Unwa, <laughs> unwa they lie. Na lie be that unwa they talk. Because unwa go use unwa hand release mass nam the cano for na own good. Nam the cano is not the problem of Nigeria. The problem of Nigeria is caused by you people, he said. And this I've got so many Nigerians talking, you know left right and center and all that you know what like what i always say is um mazen and the canoes um crime is only crime yeah is because he's an evil man and uh, for the reason that uh, he stood up to say we i we are not comfortable with the way you people are treating us and for that reason you know, give us our freedom. That is the only crime he committed. And uh, the way Nigerian government is actually taking this matter, I don't think it will do anyone any good. Well, the UN gave interval of six months for the Nigerian government to release Mazin Namdekano, you know, all conditionally and also pay him compensation. Is only Nigerian government is seeing what they did to IPOB leader as nothing. You understand? But people who know the law, who knows that what the federal government did, you know, is is a is a crime against humanity. And for the fact that they are the authority, you know, whatever they do is the best. Just like the way they are giving freedom to bandits and Boko Haram is the best, you know, way to deal with all these uh, terrorists. You know, these people will give uh, freedom to these uh, criminals who are killing Nigerians, displacing Nigerians. And uh, after that, they delete all the atrocities they committed. They will never be tried for anything. And that is the reason why... You know, people in that region are seeing it as a very good business, you know, uh, you know, to 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 go with. You understand? Now, Nigerian government will deploy soldiers to the southeast killing people, you know, just because they are asking for their freedom. If they see anything like in uh, anything close, anything Biafra with you or whatever, you, you are a gunner. If they don't take you to a prison, you know, undisclosed prison that your family member will, will never, ever, you know, see you again, you will be killed and all that. So many things have been happening, you know. This uh, international group, you know, declared the arrest of Nandi Kano as a um, an infringement on his international human rights. And the working group, the, the working group on arbitrary detention said that Nigerian government should release Mazin Namdekano all conditionally 
you know, and also pay him compensation. They also indicted Kenya government. If you guys can recall that Nabikano was adopted in Kenya and all that, even when the president of Kenya, they uh, deny and all that, the indicted uh, uh, Kenya government, you know, in this very case. But it seems that the government of Nigeria do not want to play along with the others, you know, saying that Mazin Abdikanu's case is all already in the court, in Nigerian court of law, that the law will determine his fate. So that means they are ready, you know, to do anything concerning this case. But the truth is that they themselves, they know that uh, they have no case against this young man. That is the reason why they always postponed it. They know. They know that they don't have any case against him. Because even in Nigerian constitution, self-determination is not a crime. Unless there is something the government, you know, is yet to let Nigerians know. Because the way they are taking this issue, it don't turn to personal matter. The group, this group that asks Nigerian government to release Mazin Namdekano, the group comprises, you know, uh, scholars and experts who specialize in human rights issues and related laws. Record that Namdekano is facing terrorism charges in Nigerian, in Nigeria before Justice Binta Enyako of the Federal High Court in Abuja. He has been in the custody of the Department of State Services, DSS, since mid-2021. Nnamdekano was detained after he was adopted in Kenya and repatriated in, in June 2021. He was adopted over his agitation for Biafra Nation and by extension, Nigerians break up. So that is just the, the old thing. So guys, I'm going to drop it here for now. More details will come to your way. Kindly share your view below the comment section.